the most elaborate setup ever. You're like on a box of something on the wheel or whatever. I felt like if I didn't start this video, just do it, just do it. I wouldn't have done it at all. So here we are, we're in the car. We're gonna have this conversation. I um, got used to filming my TikToks in a car. So I think if I don't do it now, we're never gonna do it. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I've been MIA, I've ghosted you, it's true. The reason I'm pulling up my phone is because we need to talk about something. How to manipulate men. We're gonna learn how to manipulate men. That's what I'm gonna teach you right now because they are so easy to manipulate. Not. I have um, taken some time off this channel. I started to make TikToks about two months ago and it just went a little bit viral. Basically, the content I used to put on this YouTube channel was all about my, you know, shopping and luxury and lifestyle and in the meantime in my private life I probably don't ever talk about that to anyone I know and I do coaching for women that's what interests me you guys know about that what I love and I thought you know what let me just separate it I'll put that onto my TikTok cool suddenly it resonates it like super resonates to the point where I'm making three four videos a day on TikTok and the press has gone a bit wild and said that I like to manipulate men to get what I want. So I thought instead of just coming back and saying, hey, I'll be back now, I'll be putting up more content, I would come with some context. So we're gonna look at this article, I'm gonna break it down, and we're gonna talk about what I've been doing on TikTok. If you wanna go on TikTok, you can, you don't have to. I'm going to be putting a lot more life coaching content on here. Of course, there will still be some fashion because, you know, why not? <laughs> why not? But mainly it'll be that because I think that's what the world wants right now. That's what women want. So the articles say, uh, meet the life coaching uh, woman who tells you how to manipulate men to get further in life. Now, when I was interviewed by the press, I never said get further in life. What I talk about on TikTok is about how to have a family relationship whereby you don't berate each other, you don't knock each other, you don't negatively affect each other, and by encouraging each other, you can actually go a lot further in life. Not that you being the woman can go further in life by using the man, but both of you encourage each other's dream. And it came from this video where I basically explained this. I said that if a man has... Um, a lavish idea or something crazy that he wants to do, a lot of women's instinct will be to just shut it down because we think men's ideas can just be crazy and it's not based in reality and it's not practical and he shouldn't do it. But instead I said, just say yes, say it's a great idea, ask him the right questions. It will inevitably get you to a place where some crazy idea turns into something that he's actually passionate about and because you supported him, Ladies understand the support of a woman is pivotal in feminine energy and making your man believe in himself, okay? So it's more so about belief in himself and what he can do. This car is getting hot, guys. What are we gonna do? Let's see if you guys can deal with a little aircon. An Aussie life coach goes viral for teaching women how to manipulate men and amplify their femininity. Now, Manipulate, if you actually look up the word, means skillfully influence. And if I can help women skillfully influence men into having a life that they both dream about, then good, I will, I will. Because not everything's got to be done with a hammer. Sometimes you can attract more with honey than you can with shit. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Um, she tells them to amplify their femininity and stop nagging. In a video, I did say to stop nagging nagging is not going to get you anywhere we know it why do women nag why is there even a word called nag because you keep saying it again and again and again there are ways to go about life without nagging and get what you want girls okay margarita 34 encourages women to use their tenacity craftiness and femininity to get further in life to enjoy a lavish lifestyle now i never said on my whole tiktok or in my chat to the press that I want to create a lavish lifestyle for anybody that I coach. I mean, if it happens, fantastic. And I never said that I want um, women to get that from men because essentially that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about relationships, self-love, confidence, femininity, lavish lifestyle they got from the fact that I've probably got a luxury lifestyle channel and they put two and two together. Let it be known that me supporting my husband meant going to 
places where he had to train for his profession, where we had to live in accommodations for students or whatever, and there was more cockroaches than there was floor space, okay? So let, let that be known. So it was no lavish lifestyle. Because who said it? Michelle Obama. And nobody talked about this lavish lifestyle part with her when she said, oh, her and Barack Obama were driving in a car, they saw some pizza vendor on the street, and he said, isn't that your ex-boyfriend from high school, from college, whatever? She goes, yeah. And he goes, look at that. You could have been with a pizza vendor. And she said, no, if I was with him, he would have been the president of America. Okay? That's what the legend says happened. So, surely, that's exactly what I'm saying. If you amplify what he can do, you can both excel in life. Okay? Then they put this nice picture of me. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, they put the two videos. Cool. I can link them in the description box below, but you can just look up TikTok. And then I did this system of the three archetypes of women in one of my videos and they picked it up. They said she compares women to deers and cows and horses. And look, I did those archetypes because I love archetypes. I understand archetypes well. It's very Carl Jung. It's very understandable to the human mind. So I said, people said, what's femininity? And I said, look, femininity they're like, oh, I don't want to take abuse. I don't want to be controlled. I don't want to surrender to a man. And I said, okay, think of femininity like this. If you're a deer, that's divine feminine. It doesn't take abuse. It's sought after. People go out to try and look for one. When everyone sees it, they stop in reverence and they go, oh my God, look at that deer. Look at its little tail flicking. You know, it's, it's, sought after, hunted in terms of like, if you want the man to chase you, the context of the video was that compared to a workhorse, which is a woman who takes everything onto herself, does everything for him, doesn't let him do anything. He becomes a stain on the couch essentially. And then she's like, who's this guy? Um, he does nothing for me. Well, that's the dynamic. And then the, the dairy cow is like the mother energy where you start treating your husband like you're his mum. And we don't want that because as Esther Perel said, female sexuality is very much linked to female narcissism. As much as we throw that word around as being bad, everyone's got narcissism in them. Women are attracted to their own selves. If a woman's not attracted to herself, she's not gonna to wanna to sleep with a man. She's gotta feel good in her own body. Hence, if you're in a mothering role, in a carer role, you're not gonna feel sexual. You're not gonna be in your divine feminine. So I use those examples. They were like, oh, she's talking about women like they're animals. Oh, having kittens about that. She said, praise a man's top qualities. I agree. If you want something to amplify, law of attraction, manifestation, talk about that. Don't complain about things because it will decrease the chance of change. Yeah, don't complain about the same thing again and again. Set up systems where you don't have to. Margarita says she manipulated her husband into a dream holiday um, by attending a convention in Las Vegas. Now listen, I said, they said, give me an example of how one would do this, of like supporting a guy's hobby or dream and then getting what you want. I said, it's very simple. So if your partner says, oh, I really want to go to, let's say an RV convention because I want to buy an RV, instead of being like an RV, you stupid idiot. Why do you want an RV? Like, where are we going to go? We've got 7.5 children. Where are they going to fit? You could just be like, okay, interesting. Let's go have a look at them. Maybe the convention is going to be somewhere interesting. Maybe you can take a holiday afterwards, but you're going to have boosted that masculine energy of leadership in him. And you're probably not going to end up with an RV anyway, babe, trust me. Anyway, so I manipulated my husband. I manipulated my husband into being a family man and providing for me. That's the, that's the funny part of this article that I find really amazing that she said, um, yeah, it was written by a woman, um, that they said that, you know, I'm manipulating men, like manipulating men to what? Having happy relationships? God Christ, help the world, manipulating the poor men. Um, so then they wrote my rules, praise the top qualities, don't complain about the bad things. I said, if you want him to have a healthy lifestyle, instead of nagging him about his weight, just implement it yourself. You always set an example, be like, wow, I'm really loving my lifestyle. Yes, chicken salad. I'm joking, but you know what I mean. I made another TikTok when they were like, walk away once you ask him for something. Basically the premise is this, a man's mind, is like a locomotive. It's very focused. It goes in one direction. Women's mind, Ferrari can go all over the place. Not all, just majority, let's say 80%. We can switch from task to task, not all. So when you ask a man suddenly when he's focusing on his task or watching his whatever on TV, hey, can you go and do this? Can you wash the dish? Can you da da da? I advise say it and go out of the room. Say it nicely and leave the room. Because what women do and how we jeopardize ourselves, if we say it, can you wash the dishes? He's in the middle of something. 
that that redirection of that locomotive is going to be like screeching it's going to be painful turning around it's not going to be easy so if you stand there you're going to see his resistance and in our female brain it's going to be like oh, disrespect doesn't want to do that for me and you don't want that just say it leave and he'll probably redirect the locomotive by himself he'll grumble a bit about it he'll think about it and then he was he'll probably do it most of the time so just take yourself out of that vicinity anyway um when dating don't complain about how exes hurt you now this one is a juicy one i said to raise your value in someone's eyes number one and number two to not give away your personal real raw realities on a first second or third date why is that person deserved that why is that person deserve to know you like that really think about it women get hurt because they date a guy and then he ghosts her because she's already slept with him and told him all of her innards she's like basically just spilt everything that's private that's sacred keep you keep that to yourself why would you express how an ex hurt you number one because that's sacred and number two by value decretion i don't mean high value women and all this jargon and garbage what i mean is you don't want to come in saying how you've been hurt by everybody you just say it ended whatever later when you're together you can explain but you there's a, a mental human capacity that happens when you say that somebody straight away thinks oh so so you put up with that you value yourself like that that's how you see yourself and confidence is the most attractive thing in the world so don't divulge that they don't deserve that yet according to margarita women should support their man no matter what they do i said you should support your worthy husband three keywords yours means yours not someone else's husband yours husband meaning you're married to him or long-term partner i don't mean support jake on the road over there who you've just started dating he's got nothing to do with you i mean in a committed relationship you should support your partner if they're worthy that being the third key word worthy as in like you look up to them they're an amazing human being yes i support my mum my friends my husband too what's the big deal uh brainwashing man here she is looking glamorous thanks they called me glamorous a few times and which was nice and um then the comments um on this newspaper article literally that it's been in the new york post everywhere is like a horrible woman get rid of her she doesn't appreciate men you know what's amazing about today's culture is half the men are coming for me <coughs> see it's true <coughs> the men are coming for me because they're like using men to manipulate us to pay for your bills i'm not using you to pay for my anything paid my for myself my whole life got married had a child and now we had a, a, a combined household silly um and then the women are you know are like oh but 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 why should i put up with that but you know what actually women really get it because what i'm talking about is not throwing everyone in the bin I really believe in human connection and family especially if you're going to go and have children and preserving that and finding someone really good to build that with and I really want to support women through it because I've noticed the culture is you know he is late to a date or something and I said like, girl you don't need that girl bye leave him okay but what are the tools what tools are we using like what can we do to to help women understand what is what and when is where and how is how so that's what i want to do uh what's going to happen to this channel i'm going to start posting again and stop be, stop ghosting you because that's disrespectful i fully appreciate if you guys just feel disrespected and i do apologize the content's going to be um me breaking down these big subjects and the content's going to be some fashion you know what i mean if you want a bit of fashion now the bag i'm wearing is this lv crochet been wearing it for a year it's what i do i get a bag and then i get like one track mind about it anyway guys love you lots like jelly tots and i'll see you on the next one ask me any questions in the box below anything that you want to know or see or me to break down or divulge um any subjects anything that's happened in your life write it down and um i'll be on it like a carb on it <laughs>